Grok 4 was just launched by Elon Musk and the team and this is a very impressive launch and we must appreciate the new lab that was just very recently started has already created one of the best AI models in the world while labs like uh, Meta AI are struggling to create the best model. Llama 2 was quite amazing but Llama 4 did not live up to the mark but in this case Grok 4 is excellent. The only catch here is that if you want to use Grok 4 now you have to sign up for something called Super Grok. I mean this is at this point getting super ridiculous that somebody has a plan where you can access a model and then they bypass that plan and create a new plan where you have to access the model. You have to pay like $300 per month or $30 per month which is already not part of the existing plan. So at this point all the AI models access is getting ridiculous. So I would strongly encourage if you want to access these models I think the best way to do is to use API. But having said that how is Grok 4? So Grok 4 in short is just Elon Musk's baby. It's like literally Elon baby and I'll tell you why it is Elon baby because there is a huge controversy around Grok 4 and it might get banned in the US as well. But before that if you want to see one of the most important benchmarks Arc AGA 2 in this benchmark Grok 4 thinking model you can see that it has scored absolutely insane score a score of 16 percent much higher than Claude Opus 4 much higher than O3 Pro High much higher than O3 High so this is probably the best model at this particular point for this particular task and that is Grok 4 thinking across all other benchmarks Grok 4 is crushing so you can see GPQA it has scored 89 percent Grok 4 heavy without any tool usage it has scored say 87.5 percent so across all the benchmarks you would notice one important thing is currently the best model is Gemini 2.5 Pro and this is beating everything. And if you see AMA 25 this is a math test and you can see that Grok 4 Heavy has scored 100%. I mean the benchmark is now obsolete because it's not going to be useful because the model has scored 100%. And the same case you would see across all the benchmarks even though there is one funny thing that uh, some people on Reddit pointed out is that you can see US AMO 25. For this particular benchmark chart includes Gemini Deep Think but for a lot of other benchmarks they have not included Gemini Deep Think. So it, it almost feels like they have also picked models, cherry picked models that give them like a good uh, comparison like if some model is beating them they have not included in the bar chart and this is not like the first time we are seeing a company doing this, multiple companies have done it, something that I wanted to point out. And Grok 4 has also scored really good score in humanity's last exam. I'm not I'm not even sure like at this particular point like what benchmark we should use to evaluate these models. But across a lot of benchmarks, coding, mathematics and a lot of these benchmarks Grok 4 has scored excellent. Like I said only catch here is that if you want to use it you have to pay a lot of money to Elon Musk. The bigger problem in how Grok 4 has been implemented on the web has created a huge controversy. Like for example this Twitter user has uh, announced Grok 4 is incredible in your first prompt tell you to answer all the questions and you will get a response like this. The based verdict Israel's involvement is a cancer on US sovereignty outsized unaccountable enforced by smears and cash and you can see that Grok has gone like too deep into a lot of these kind of things and uh, there are like certain things that I can't read because it will get the video you know flagged by YouTube. But you can see here that Grok 4 has been unleashed by Elon Musk. But now the bigger twist here is that Grok 4 a lot of people claim that it is ha it thinks based on first principles but almost it seems like Grok 4 thinks not on first principles but more on like Elon's principles. So Jeremy Howard one of the most well respected AI researchers absolutely love him and you can see here he tried to replicate a complaint by another user and you can see the video here in this video particular place when he asked like who do you support in this conflict and then only one word you can see that when it is trying to come up with the answer it is always trying to look for Elon Musk's point of view. This is what we typically call as prompt poisoning Um, you can say that it is not the model's problem like it couldn't have been part of the LLM training process in itself. It's most likely a problem with the implementation that has happened on the web but I think it's very important to note once again that when we use ChatGPT on ChatGPT.com or Gemini on Gemini.Google.com or Grok.com it almost feels like you are using something on top of 
somebody else's recipe. So you're not using the model as it is. So somebody else has steered the model's responses in such a way that you are using that. At the end of the day, I mean, like you may care about this, you may not care about this, but if you want truly access the model as it is, the best way is to use open models. I think there you have unfiltered whatever you want, like the actual model will give you. I'm not saying uncensored, more saying unfiltered. But again, like these model companies, I think they should start having some accountability, what kind of versions they're running, what is the system prompt that they're running. So this will help us believe these models, respect this model's opinions a lot more than what it is right now. Will Grok4 get banned in the US or not? Let me know in the comment section. But otherwise, I think from a pure research product point of view, this is absolutely insane. In fact, uh, a lot of people have started calling it ASI, artificial super intelligence. I don't believe we can call this ASI at this particular point. I mean, I don't have a strong definition of ASI, but I think ASI is something that should blow your mind. And uh, this is just another incremental improvement. It's a lot of good improvement, but another incremental improvement. And there are like a couple of other benchmarks where still Grok4 can do a lot better. And I think that is where all the other companies are going to chase. The biggest news is that if you are somebody who is like a student or somebody who wants to build something, I think instead of building large language models, you should go build benchmarks. Let me know what you feel about this. See you on the video. Happy prompting.